Good afternoon everyone, so these bales have been put away I did the ones that were in this paddock just with the tractor Didn't need any trailers because there's only just a little short cart And then we did the other two which are over there uh, With yeah, two tractors and two trailers which didn't take long at all So they're all stacked away ready for the dry period We've just had 20 mils of rain which has topped the moisture in the soil up again As you can see it's a little bit damp and the regrowth is coming back real good the calves have been in here and taken the top off it but I did say I wasn't quite sure where I'd put these bales I did stack them along this fence line last year but the thing is this fence hasn't got electricity on it so I didn't really want to put them there this year so I've just put them along this fence line here which has electricity makes it easier the paddocks are only just there so there's only a little bit of a cart didn't take much much longer than usual. I'm a little bit worried I've put them too close to the fence though and the cows can sort of reach over and put holes in these bales. If they get hungry they have been in this paddock and they haven't uh, reached over yet but I should probably fence the other side as well. Just better to be safe than sorry. Oh through that gate, go through that gate. Yes, yes, yes. Please. Oh yes. Away we go, come on. But I had Katie ring up the other day and say, your calves need lip doing, so she's coming out soon to do that. I should have done the whole lot uh, when they were here before I sent that 40 off for grazing, but I'll just have to get Merv to do the other 40 down there. And something I noticed while I was bringing the calves up is that one of these calves here has a poo ball around its tail. I'll show you what I mean soon. Uh, that calf right there in the back. I'll put a glove on because it's a bit dirty. But can you see on its tail there? See that ball? So that is just made up of poo and it needs to come off. Hopefully I should be able to pull it off. Oh, might have to do it in the race actually. It's quite tight. Give it a twist so it breaks the... It's not hurting it. There we go, see? It's good to get that off. See there's a bit of hair on it. bit off too there we go that'll feel better some of these other ones have just got a little bit of poo too like that it's not so bad I've actually seen it once before too at one of the stations I was working at that one of the beef cattle I can't remember if it's a cow or a steer or a bull or what well, doesn't really matter but it had got a ring around its tail like that and it actually got so tight it had cut the circulation off and the tail had actually fallen off these calves weren't anywhere near that stage, but it can happen. Now I'm on the hunt for real and standard because I need to set up some fences because tomorrow I'm going away for a week of holiday. Dad's been away the, for the last week, he's getting back tomorrow to take over from me. And he's set up all his brakes so all I have to do is pull fences down, I don't have to put anything up so I need to do the same. And the cows are coming in here tonight so I'm going to whack this down and take it with me. We do need some more reels, so maybe I'll get Dad some geared ones for Christmas. Probably not a bad idea. Check out the chicory too, the cows will be going in here pretty soon I imagine. It's a little bit weedier than uh, we would have liked, should have pasture sprayed it. But uh, we didn't get the time this year. That's one break sorted, I've just split this paddock in half. I hate fencing this with a passion because you've got to go down and then back up and up like that because the trough is over there. The cows used to walk out that way to the shed until we put a culvert down the bottom and we put that new race in. Uh, so instead of just fencing across like that, half the paddock I've got to do it that way. It is on the wish list though, I want to run a water line or trench one in from that trough down and put a new trough in down here. 
just to make life just that little bit easier. There's another paddock down. I've just put a fence up straight through there so they get two days here. And it is seriously humid at the moment. I'm sweating in my overalls. Probably should have taken them off. But that might mean there might be a few thunder showers rolling around tonight. So if we got a little bit more rain, that would be mint. I've just got a few more to put up, but uh, one of them is over by the cows. I don't want to go over there because then they'll all come to the gate. I'll just do it once I've let the cows come back to the feed pad for the afternoon. But I've been doing a little bit of work for Fonterra on the side, just making like a monthly video for them. And they've given me some gear to try out. So this morning I've been into Farm Source and picked it up. So they've given me uh, this 360 range, which is pretty cool. So a pair of gum boots, something in there, some wire tighteners. I actually uh, bought them because I need them for a fence. But I'm not sure what's exactly in here. Um, there's a shirt to try out, which is pretty cool. I think all the stuff's 360. Yep. So, cool shirt. That might be, be a little bit big, but um, it'll work. And they're giving me this pack. That stuff's real good. I love wearing that stuff. More winter stuff, but however, it uh, can sit there until winter. A bit of a shirt, warm shirt, and oh, some milking sleeves. How good! Love these. Oh, and they've got adjustable sleeves on them too. That's quite cool. Overalls, gotta love overalls. Can't get enough of them. Oh, stubbies! I didn't know they did stubbies. That's cool. So, if you're not familiar with what stubbies are, they're just short shorts. Wear them every day. Oh, jacket. That's cool. Oh, the hood. It's like windproof stuff. Oh, it's lined too. Cool. Shirt. These shirts are nice. They've got like holes in them to let the air in and out. Cotton shirt. And. Oh, a winter jacket or a rain jacket. Oh, it feels nice. Real nice. And some leggings. Oh, no, bibs actually, because I like bibs. Oh, how good is that? I usually go with the sort of the cheaper stuff, and um, yeah, I'm real keen to try out these and see how these go. I prefer the bibs because they stay up a bit better, but cool. They almost look a little bit too big. I suppose I could exchange them if they are. I was just having a little look back through it and I found this jacket here. Uh, it says reprieve on the thing and made from recycled plastic bottles. And how cool is that? Because we are all about sustainability and recycling as much as we can. So that is awesome. You can make clothes out of uh, plastic bottles. I guess most of the stuff here is probably like winter gear. Uh, I can use these rain jackets and stuff for when it's raining. Hopefully we're gonna get a bit of rain through the summer, fingers crossed. But I'm pretty keen to let you know how I get on. I haven't used 360 gear in the past, so I'm, I'm pretty excited to try it. I certainly won't be talking it up if I find something I don't like or it's no good, I, yeah, I'll definitely say that. And if I find some of it pretty good, I'll, uh, I'll let you know how I get on, but that is something exciting that has sort of uh, happened to me. I know you guys usually see me wearing my blue overalls, but it's just too hot today, so I've left them off for the afternoons. I usually do this at about this time of the year. These girls have got a pretty long walk. This is the furthest away paddock. It's not actually ours, we lease it, this one and that one. And because they've got such a long walk, I am gonna put a fence up behind them. But there is four sheep in here, just over there, and I've gotta keep them out. Well, I've gotta keep them back, I suppose. I 
got him safe. Yeah. Almost. No, 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 no. Oh, you little bugger. Yeah. Come on, let me, let me. It did not go to plan whatsoever. I've got some of their pellets. Put it in there and shake it. Hopefully they will come. Bloody sheep. Come on in. Got a taste. Come on in. Come on. Well, would you look at that? Right, I need to gap out of here before they uh, realise what's going on. They're actually from milking sheep, these these lambs. That's why they're quite long and leggy. They're not like your top, typical um, lamb for mutton. So I split this paddock in half too. It's sort of a weird shaped paddock. It's sort of like an owl, but I've got to go sort of loop around like that. But I've got to pull the fence down every time because there's only one trough which is in this break here. Would be nice to put a trough somewhere oh, over there, it might be flat enough. So then all I have to do is just run the reel, uh, like come down to this post and then just switch it over so they can go either in there, then leave the, uh, the fence up all the time and then they can just go in there the next day. It's all about efficiency, eh? Trying to, trying to save time here so you can put it somewhere else, but one day, one day that might happen. So now I just need to make sure I've got enough paddock set up. So this is what happens when we go away, this is what Dad's left me. This is his paddock, so the morning one is where the cows go in the morning and the number on the right is where the cows go at night time. So I just need to do that and fill out where they go beside each day now, like I've already done a few there. I've been through and marked all my paddocks for the next week up until we get back on Friday, so the 10th, so I just need a day or put down where they're going Saturday morning and then I'll come back and work out the rest. So that is pretty easy. It's pretty easy because um, this order generally stays the same throughout the year. So it just keeps revolving and evolving. Sometimes I might change it because these two paddocks grow a bit of grass, so I might change them around in the rotation, like keep bringing them forward maybe three or four days and pushing some of these ones that don't grow so well out the other end or just give them a, a bit longer to recover. But I forgot to set up the cows paddock for the morning, number one, and Dad hasn't fenced that, so that is another job to do now. So, my afternoon is really not going to plan. The cows aren't moving because the bull is holding them up. They do this, I don't know why. Uh, they've just started doing it, there's two of them. I had it real bad last year, they'd actually hold them up in the paddock, like down in the corner. But the cows have actually, or well, they're supposed to be going to the top of the hill in the gate there. They, they, I usually leave the gates open so they just, um, once they finish on the feed pad, they'll just go to their paddock. I seen them walking towards the paddock, I was like, sweet as, and then I seen them heading back so and they were at the feed pad so i've had to chase them out of there and yeah just bull trouble eh? they they're just i don't know shockers it's annoying there's not much you can do about it um but these bulls will be gone in a couple of weeks and then life gets really easy from there i don't know if you can see that but one cow's got around the bull and now the bull is just chasing after that cow to hold it up again like that oh it just oh it drives me insane
got there in the end but uh yeah bit of a miss so i probably did that a little bit wrong i should have uh if i knew he's going to be that bad i would have just gone straight to the front and just pushed him all the way to the paddock and the cows would have followed i would uh would do that next time but yeah at least now i know i've just finished i've put the fence up just down there and uh yeah i'm ready to go on holiday one more milking and then i'm done but uh i thought there might have been a little bit of a more well, few thunder showers floating around but doesn't look to be but thanks for watching guys i think i'll pretty much end it there and i might do a little bit of filming while i'm away on holiday uh i'll see how it goes but we'll see you next time